guys. Are you ready for some nerdy comedy? Oh, what is this, a room full of Vulcans? Are you ready for some nerdy comedy? That's better. Your comedian tonight, oh my goodness, you've seen him briefly on episodes of Star Trek such as Not The Face and Deep Space Ouch. Please welcome back from his latest away mission, it is red shirt number four. Why are you so blurry? Oh, sorry. I know you, you it's the 24th century. Why, why do you have glasses? That's because these are new eyeballs. Yeah, these were in a jar like a half an hour ago. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but I just got back from an away mission and it didn't go so good. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I thought salt vampires were scary, uh, but, but you know what's worse? I mean, just regular vampires. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't know if you know how much blood is in a person, but it, it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's way more than you think, uh, especially when it's on the outside. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, uh, I, 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 saw the, I saw the emergency medical hologram. He, he, he's nice. He, he, he's, he's not. He's cranky. Uh, but he, he fixed me up. He says, I'll be, I'll be good as new in a couple of days. I can, I can go back to work. So... Uh, yeah, yeah, yay! <laughs> hmm. uh, this, this, this was my fifth away mission, and uh, that, that's a big deal, because uh, having survived five away missions makes me the most senior red shirt left on the ship. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, it, te technically it's Kenneth. Uh, but he, he, he can't work no more. He's in one of them beepy chairs. <laughs> you know the ones? You know? There's a, oh, you want, hey, Ken Dahl, you, you want some more pudding? Beep. <laughs> yeah, that guy, that one. <laughs> we keep him around because he's our lucky charm. He made it to eight. That's the record. They're going to turn his chair into a Roomba, just give him something to do. <laughs> There's a lot of carpet on those old spaceships. <laughs> yeah. Uh, people, people ask me, they say, uh, wow, well, your, your job sounds really dangerous. And I was like, that's, that's not a question. That's more of an unpleasant observation. <laughs> You're not following the Scalzi rule. <laughs> but eventually they, they asked, that, they said, like, why did you become a red shirt? And... I, I, I ask myself that question, like, a lot. <laughs> yeah, because uh, in Starfleet, I don't, I don't know if you know, in Starfleet, they have, oh my goodness, they have, like, uh, scientists and pilots and, and cooks. They have cooks. That's, that's a fun job. I could, I could do that. Like, like, hi, Angela, how are you? Hi. Would you like some vegetables? Uh, okay. Oh, oh, here you go. Thank, have a nice day. See, that sounds like a fun job. <laughs> but here's the thing, is you got you to gotta score high enough on the Starfleet entrance exam. And uh, I, I only scored a 90 out of 11,000. <laughs> My options were limited. <laughs> yeah, it was either security or a transporter test dummy. Turns out that one's way safer. <laughs> yeah, would you have guessed that? No, I didn't guess that either. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, and uh, so if I don't, if you're considering a career in Starfleet, uh, my my advice is uh, stay 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 in school. Yeah, <laughs> but it's I don't I don't want to sound like it's all bad. I like there's a lot of stuff about Starfleet that's fun. Like uh, everybody gets a retirement plan, like a 401k. That's that's nice. If, if you're a red shirt, you get a 401k IA. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that name either. <laughs> but we, it's, it has to be different for us because uh, none of us retire. <laughs> yeah, you just, you gotta amortize just real quick <laughs> for your next of kin. So, uh, that's, that's nice. You get free healthcare. That's kinda, if you're a red shirt, that's not optional. You, you're gonna get it. <laughs> But for everybody else, it's, it's, it's real nice. Uh, what, what else? You get free uniforms. 
Which, that's good, because this is my third uniform today. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's, 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 a, it's a blend. It's 50% uh, spandex and 50% uh, Shatner. <laughs> yeah, it rips real easy. <laughs> and uh, it, it doesn't really protect you from uh, anything, really. <laughs> Uh, also surprisingly flammable. <laughs> yeah, you can just ask Jenkins about what well, you can't ask him anymore. Uh, you just gotta trust me on that one. <laughs> it is whoosh. Ah, nightmares. Uh, but uh, yeah, and then so that th this one got ruined on the away mission. And then earlier I had to change because we we had a, a, a intruder alert drill that just got way out of hand because somebody doesn't know how to check that their weapon's on stun. Carl. <clears throat> it's, it's, it's so easy. <laughs> Stupid Carl. Uh, and then, this, well, this morning, I, I, I spilled some burrito sauce on my uniform. <laughs> you couldn't tell because it's also red, but you, you can't go out there with burrito sauce on your uniform. You're just asking for some alien to be like, mm, burrito sauce, and then BAM! I'm not going out like Angela. Is a different Angela. Did you know her? No, that's for the best. <laughs> that turbo lift still smells like Tabasco. <laughs> Speaking of that, we do get full funeral benefits. Uh, yeah, or as we in the biz like to call it, uh, the photon torpedo tuxedo. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, what they do is uh, they, they, they stuff your body into, a, well, if they can find it, <laughs> they stuff your body into a photon torpedo and then they just, they just, they just shoot it right into space willy-nilly. It's kind of irresponsible. <laughs> Sometimes you come back. That's a weird day. You kind of go around to all your friends. <laughs> hey, can I have my stuff back? They're like, ah, oh, ghost, get back in the candle! <laughs> The ghost sex joke. <laughs> Look it up, it's a fun episode. No. <laughs> legally, legally, I'm still me. Um, uh, biologically, ooh, there are some questions. <laughs> I have a whole team of, of scientists at Daystrom studying me. Yeah, they keep, they keep sending me the pictures of this koala. Well, they call them ink blot tests, but whatever. <laughs> How many pictures of the same koala do you need? I don't understand. <laughs> I, uh, right, right now, I'm, I'm working up under uh, Captain Jellico. Do you know him? Yeah, that's the one. You know what they say, if you can't say something nice, you're probably talking about Captain Jellico. <laughs> you probably don't have that saying yet, but it's, it, you'll get it. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, he, he came down. We were all on the shuttle waiting for the away mission, and he came down to, um, we'll just say goodbye, <laughs> like they do. And uh, I said, oh, Captain Jellico, are you coming with us? And he, he was like, oh, no, I can't because Starfleet regulations, blah, 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 you know how they talk. And, uh, and I said, oh, but, but Captain, there's always room for Jellico. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he didn't like that joke either. <laughs> He seemed real disappointed when I came back. <laughs> oh, do, you have a, do you have a favorite Captain, Angela? Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch? I don't know. Is he Romulan? That sounds Romulan. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Klingon? Is there an apostrophe? I think I, I, think I met him. Who, anybody else got a favorite, favorite Captain? Cisco, oh, he's so he's like sultry and sexy. He, they need, he needs to come back. He hasn't been in that wormhole too long. I think they have a hot tub or something. I don't know why. He needs to come back. Anybody else got a favorite captain? Kirk. Kirk? Which, there's so many. They're like tribbles now. <laughs> which, which one? Both. Both? There's like three. Oh. That's a lot. <laughs> he's sexy though. I get it. He's a sexy man. Just Kirk Fu, and I don't know what the middle one does, but yeah. We, I'm, Red Shirts, we have a favorite captain, it's Captain Shaw. Yeah. Yeah. We like him because Starfleet's like, hey, we need you to go do this dangerous mission. He's like, mm, no. <laughs> and then they just send another ship. We have so many, it's not even a big deal. <laughs> we like him. He's good. 
I, uh, I, I served I served under uh, Captain Picard for a while. He's a fancy man. Yeah, T O R E H O T. You could just say T. It's a computer. It runs the whole ship. It's smart enough to know what kind of tea you like. Don't have to be fancy. <laughs> He's nice though. I, I, I used to do uh, for the ship talent show. I would do. I can do an impression of uh, Captain Picard, but um, because I've been standing next to too many exploding panels, I can only do him singing the American National Anthem. Yeah, it's very specific. <laughs> it doesn't come up in conversation very often. But I, I can do that. You want me to do that for you? Yeah. Oh, good, okay. <clears throat> I gotta get into character. <laughs> I'm bald. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, say can you see? Right? It's yeah. pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> By the dawn's early light. There, there's four lights. <laughs> yeah, I learned that one the hard way. Oh, man. <laughs> what so proudly we hailed. What part of France is that guy from? <laughs> he sounds funny. <laughs> uh, I'm going to skip a bit. Oh, say does that star spang gold. <laughs> He's kind of a drama queen, huh? <laughs> mm. Banner yet wave. Do, do you think the drama queen joke is why he sent me on that suicide mission to the Badlands? <laughs> <laughs> I think so, right? <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> mm. Oh, the land of the free! Shut up, Wesley! <laughs> yeah, so he's not on the boat, I checked. <laughs> Don't say that to him, that's mean. <laughs> Sorry, Will. <clears throat> and the home of the brave! <laughs> Engage baseball! Thank you so much. You guys like songs? Yeah, I, there's another song I do. I've never done it before though. Uh, do you guys, uh, do you guys like musicals? Oh, good. Do you like Les Mis? Yeah. Oh my goodness. So recently, I spent some time with Cleons in in one of their lovely penal colonies. <laughs> Penal's a funny word. <laughs> it's not a funny place though. <laughs> Don't go there. Uh, and uh, they they uh, they would make us do. Uh, songs for them. They'd make us perform. And did you know that Les Mis is better in the original Klingon? <laughs> yeah, it's based on a Klingon opera called uh, K Les Miserables. <laughs> yeah. I asked them why Klingon spoke French. They got real mad. <laughs> Don't ask them that. Uh, but uh, yeah, and, and so it's a little different than the one you're used to because um, well, the words are different for starters. And, uh, all, and it's just me. Usually there's a whole lot more people who sing it, but I gotta do all the parts. And, and then also, uh, there's no harmony, because Klingons hate harmony. They get real stabby about it. <laughs> yeah, you just ask Lynn about that one. You, you can ask him, he's not dead. He's just, he's just mm, cranky because the eye. <laughs> he got stabbed in the eye. Was that clear? I don't, I'm not sure. He's all twitchy now. Uh, but, uh, okay, so I'm gonna, oh, I have, I have props, hold on. When, when I give you the signal, just, just wave, wave that over your head. Yeah. Shh, it's a secret. <laughs> there now, we're kind of, okay. <clears throat> you, you, you know the song, I, I, I don't have the music, but I can play. Where is it? You know that one? No, 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 no. Yeah, that one. Okay. <clears throat> this is gonna be weird. All right, strap in. <laughs> you can sing along if you want. Oh, that's an important part. I almost forgot. Uh, do you guys know what Stovacore is? Yeah, Stovacore. If you don't know, it's like Klingon Valhalla. They talk about it all the time. It's like their third favorite thing besides like the drinking and the stabbing. <laughs> They're basically space bikers. 
Uh, but that's important for this song. Okay. <clears throat> Stovo Core. The honored dead thing. I hear them call to me on this never ending road to glory. That's my favorite part. You get to the eyes. Like Gowron. Okay. <laughs> Dishonored is my family name, but how long must I bear this shame? Stovokor! This is the other part. Okay. <clears throat> I did not love until today. How can I kill when we are parted? Stovokor, the perfect blend of curve and blade. Our murder spree had barely started. This is the lady part. One more day, my knife to hone. One more day of them still breathing. Revenge a dish that's best served cold. Cloak, they'll never see me there. This note goes on for a long time, I can't do it. <laughs> okay, this guy. One more day to stove a core. Our torchbearer lights the beacon. We'll let slip the dogs of war. It will be a good day to die. That's another really long note. I can't do it. <laughs> who's, who's the next one? Oh, yeah, this guy. <laughs> There's so many people. It's hard to keep track. I gotta be honest. <laughs> I forgot which one it is. Who's next? What's the next guy? Is it Vajon or the other one? Javert. I think it's Javert. <laughs> You're not helping. <laughs> I thought you like musicals. Okay. <laughs> We're going to do Javert. I think it's, that's the next one. <laughs> one more day of federation. Those insipid little bugs. They'll sing songs about our battles. Our oh, bedlacks will run with blood. Clingers are the best. Let them have their fun. We'll make a lot of Latin while we sell them guns. There's profit to be had when people go to war. Rule of acquisition number 34. Yes. <laughs> Tomorrow, Klingons have their way. Tomorrow is the judgment day. Tomorrow we'll discover what the great Kalos has in store. With a thing. <laughs> One more dawn. One more day to Stovo Core. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> Get a big hand to Angela too from Flag Baby. Thank you all so much. That's that's all I have for me. If you want to come get a card and uh, and follow me on social, that'd be awesome. But if not, that's cool too. Have a nice night, everybody. Good night. Thanks for coming.